the first time we actually saw the space was when they got occupancy. So we were sort of working off of condo builder plans, which no bueno. So, <laughs> as anybody knows, it's a little challenging. Annie and Peter, they're very inspired by some of the hotels that they've traveled to, specifically in Toronto and Montreal in Canada. They love the location, they love the view, and the unit itself, when we first saw it, was completely empty. So we really had carte blanche to design the space with our clients' needs and wants in mind. The vibe in here is, I would say, like sophisticated warmth. One of the other things that the clients relayed to me was their desire to have dark floors. I know, shocker, which, I mean, I gotta be honest, I was, uh, it took me a while to sort of get through that hurdle, but once we sort of narrowed down the look and the vibe and the color palette, it all flowed from there. And now, obviously, you know, looking at the space holistically, it would not have made any sense at all to do a different color flooring. The other thing that we spoke at length about was the kitchen. Our client is an avid cook. They're both entertainers, so they really wanted the kitchen to be central and not white. We settled on this beautiful custom blue that we had done, and it looks fantastic. We've got a natural oak island. The lines are not really straight in this unit. Everything sort of goes into a point. So it was really challenging to carve out a space for a long rectangular island. We designed the island with a curve and it really is more so for better flow, but also it allows us to give that island a little bit of breathing room. So it's not this big honker right in the middle of the space. It's just another design element that's completely custom and totally unique. So the bar, as I said, my clients are entertainers. There's some really good alcohol in that bar. No, I shouldn't say that. Uh, ah. We wanted a little bit of a nook for them, a space where they're able to sort of stash away their stuff. And also when they're entertaining, it's easily accessible. We've got a beautiful mesh cabinet front, adult beverages, obviously. And then we've carved out for them a little barista coffee area as well. So they're able to sort of make their coffee as they wish. Okay, we went a little large with the sofa. I mean, there's no really way to sugarcoat it. However, my clients are both gifted vertically, okay? The thing that was paramount was that it had to look good, but it also had to be comfortable. So it has to fit them and fit their lifestyle as well. One of the reasons why we ended up choosing that gorgeous blue velvet for the sofa is because it worked really well with the color of the kitchen cabinetry. It works for the space and my clients love it the living area slash kind of like little library, there was a wall and that was a den space. They've already got two bedrooms in here. There's only the two of them. So we took that wall down and opened up the space. We gave them a ton of storage, including hidden within that feature wall. So the feature wall serves two purposes. I don't understand why the returns and the filters need to be placed in the middle of a wall. I know, mm, drives me crazy. But anyway, so hide all that unsightly stuff. But then also we came up with the idea of continuing that wall across and giving our clients additional storage behind the slats. It's shallow, it's maybe about 10 or 12 inches, so it's not super deep, but again, it utilizes every nook and cranny of the space, and it just gives them that extra you know, storage that they need for all their stuff. The way for us to be able to join the two rooms together is to continue that slatted wall effect adjacent to the television. So we framed the TV using that slatted wall concept, and now it harmonizes the two spaces and it gives it complete continuity. Can we talk about the switch for like two minutes? Can you imagine having like that plastic crap doodle? No. So, okay, it's not inexpensive, but doesn't it look amazing? It, there's certain things where I feel very strongly about and I'm kind of like, you know, a dog with a bone. And that was one of those things where, you know, it completely just takes it up a notch. The bedroom's not huge. We didn't change the layout in there at all. However, we ended up upgrading the bedroom with new bedding, obviously, new rug, and then also these fantastic boucle drapes. 
I think this, again, takes that room up a notch and it just gives it that little custom detail as well. It makes it feel like a hotel, I feel like. The vanity that was installed by the builder just wasn't working for us. It actually lacked a lot of storage. So we designed a really gorgeous walnut vanity and complemented that with a medicine cabinet above and then installed some new pendant lighting and it completely changed the look of the space. We didn't have to do that much. We kept the tile, we kept the shower enclosure and then obviously just upgraded all the fixtures in the vanity. And it really makes the space feel like a cute little hotel washroom. My client works from home, so we turned the second bedroom into her home office. We installed beautiful wallpaper, obviously. Again, went with the custom doors as well, so removed that builder barn track. Installed some beautiful pendant lighting, and the shelving unit that's in there is actually client installed, and it's big box, but it totally works. Like, it's great, and it just gives her the extra closed storage that we all need in our offices, but also open storage for some nicer decorative elements. Like most condos, the entry or the foyer is a longer-ish corridor. There's gonna be sliding doors all across, if you can imagine. I know, I know, but this, I mean, honestly, it's almost like I don't even remember how that looked before because now I couldn't imagine it being not the way it is now. We customized the front of the closet for our clients' coats and jackets, obviously, and shoes. The middle section is for their stackable washer and dryer. And then the third section is a little seating area, obviously, where you can sit, put on your shoes. Like, it's awesome. The shell of this space was very loft-like. I mean, there's obviously some loft elements in here, like the exposed ducting and the concrete ceilings. You know, we were brought in to obviously infuse the space with warmth and character, really just make it feel like a home and not just, you know, a standard white box. Our clients are just beyond thrilled. Like they love coming home every day. And this is a space that truly reflects them and their personality.